As the summer finally comes to an end, that means game releases will finally be ramping up and September is shaping up to be a gigantic month for new releases. From decade-long anticipated titles to brand new IPs, it's all coming next month. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 10 awesome games coming in September. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Psycho Pass Mandatory Happiness. Psycho Pass was one of the more underappreciated anime in recent history. It had its story inconsistencies, but overall it was a very unique sci-fi anime with a great setting. Psycho Pass Mandatory Happiness takes place concurrently to the anime series and is a visual novel. The game was originally exclusive to the Xbox One in Japan no less, which is very uncommon. If you're not a fan of the anime series, Mandatory Happiness probably won't be up your alley, but for fans, this is one to keep an eye on. Mandatory Happiness comes September 13th on PS4 and PS Vita. Number 9, Dead Rising and Dead Rising 2 Remasters. Dead Rising was one of the most successful series of last generation. The zombie slaying action adventure game offered a lot of style, chaos, and insanity. Both Dead Rising and Dead Rising 2 are coming to next generation platforms with the first game finally coming to PC and PlayStation. Those of you that game on a PS4 haven't even gotten a Dead Rising game this generation, so this is a nice consolation if nothing else. The game's release on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on September 13th. Number 8, Steins Gate Zero. September looks to be a great month for visual novel fans. Outside of Psycho Pass Mandatory Happiness, we also have Steins Gate Zero, the follow-up to Steins Gate, which is one of the best VNs of all time and was also adapted into a tremendous anime. Steins Gate Zero is also getting an anime adaptation in the future, but if you want to get the full experience with all of the insight possible in the world, you'll want to play the visual novel. Steins Gate Zero is a direct follow-up to Steins Gate, so if you've never watched the anime or played the first game, definitely stay away from this. However, for fans, you should be stoked. Steins Gate Zero releases September 27th on PS4 and PS Vita. Number 7, Bioshock The Collection Bioshock is one of the best franchises of the last decade. The first game released back in 2007, and while the second game didn't stand out as much as the first, it was still a very good game, and Bioshock Infinite was also excellent, taking the series to a different setting. The Bioshock Collection will be releasing on next-generation platforms, bundling all three games with a typical HD remastering. The Bioshock games are very story-driven first-person shooters with great settings, music, and aesthetic design. Gameplay was some of the best you'll see in a first-person shooter, and while they are single-player only, Bioshock 2 did have a multiplayer mode which was blah. Regardless, just for the campaigns, the collection will be well worth it. The Bioshock Collection releases on September 13th for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. PC owners also get it for free if you own all three Bioshock games on Steam.
Number 6, ReCore. ReCore is an action-adventure game being developed by Comcept and Armature Studio. Comcept hasn't been in the most positive light this year. They put out Mighty Number no. 9, which has been seen as a colossal disappointment. Hopefully, ReCore fares better. This is one of the most interesting new IPs of this generation. The game has you playing as a girl with an emphasis on utilizing the various robotic technology in the world. Gameplay looks fairly interesting and unique. Based off what we've seen, it doesn't look blow away, but this could be a game that surprises you. It's also releasing at a budget price point of $40, so that's definitely nice. ReCore releases on September 13th for PC and Xbox One. the analyzer. Big ring in a big room? That's it. Just put the prismatic core into the main console and we'll be all set. Number 5, Destiny Rise of Iron. Destiny Rise of Iron is the latest expansion pack to Destiny, which was one of the most controversial games of this generation. The game had enormous hype leading up to its release, although upon release many found the game to be rather disappointing, but over the years through updates and the multitudes of expansions, the game has only gotten better. Now we have Rise of Iron, which will add a lot more content, a new campaign, new missions, new PvP maps, new gear, and so much more. At this point, you've probably already figured out whether or not you like Destiny, and if you do, you'll definitely pick up Rise of Iron. It releases on September. September 20th for PS4 and Xbox One. Number 4, Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Dungeon has been available on PC for a while now. It released in its final state back in January, and prior to that, it had been available as an early access title. Now the game finally arrives to PS4 and PS Vita. The game itself is a very in-depth and difficult roguelike dungeon crawling RPG. Darkest Dungeon requires patience, but it's a very rewarding game. It releases on PS4 and Vita on September 27th. Number 3, XCOM 2 Console Edition. XCOM 2 was one of the best PC games of 2016 thus far, and in September, it finally comes to consoles. For those of you that played XCOM Enemy Unknown, XCOM 2 isn't a far cry from that game. It retains everything that made Enemy Unknown great, refined some of the mechanics, but it's not a gigantic revolutionary leap forward, but it didn't really need to be. It's a very compelling and engaging tactical RPG. It'll be interesting to see how the transition from PC to consoles is. The game was pretty hard to run on PC, so hopefully it can hold up in this version. We'll find out soon enough, XCOM 2 comes to PS4 and Xbox One on September 27th. I'll get him next time. Hot Overwatch. Copy that. Incoming 
On the move. Scanning. Order's confirmed. Moving out. Number 2, Forza Horizon 3. Forza is a series that has been a mainstay to Xbox, seeing yearly releases for the last half decade, and now comes the latest game, Forza Horizon 3, which is a part of the spin-off series rather than the main Forza Motorsport series. Horizon caters to both racing game enthusiasts as well as casual players. The game will be set in an open world Australia with a map that's expected to be twice the size of the map in Horizon 2, meaning it'll be pretty damn big. At this point, most people have played Forza, and for racing game fans, it's become a fixture in the genre. Forza Horizon 3 will also be coming to PC as well as the Xbox One. It releases on September 27th. Most diverse, most beautiful, and most fun open world we've ever built. And it is packed with new driving experiences, with new terrain, with new gameplay and challenges, and with all new vehicle types joining the largest car roster ever seen in Horizon. And... Forza Horizon 3 also offers four-player campaign co-op for the very first time. Now, Bill has invited his friends to join him in co-op so they can race to the beach and help him in his next event. When Bill's friends join, their worlds synchronize with his. Time of day, weather, traffic, and drive avatars. Let's watch them join. With a single button press, Andy can join Bill's se session instantly and seamlessly, like all of Horizon's online modes. Joining co-op is just that easy. And Andy and Terence are now in the same co-op session with Bill and Karen, and take a shortcut through the rainforest to catch up with them on their way to the beach. And now that they're all together, the race is on. Experience the laid-back fun of Horizon with your friends. Whether you're pulling off amazing stunts, racking up skill points, or exploring the world. Between Xbox Live, crossplay, and instant co-op, this is the most social Forza ever. And finally, number one, Final Fantasy XV. It's surreal to think that a game that has been anticipated for a decade will finally be released next month, but yes, Final Fantasy XV will be releasing in September. This is one of Square Enix's most ambitious games ever and one of the most promising JRPGs in a very long time. From a technical standpoint, the game is absolutely jaw-dropping. The visuals the game is putting out on consoles is staggering, we just hope the frame rate holds up. Gameplay from what we've seen and played from the demo is much more action-oriented, but it does seem like there's a level of depth to the game with different abilities and alternating weapons. The one area of FF15 that is the most unpredictable is the story and writing. JRPGs sometimes have really wacky and convoluted stories. Hopefully that isn't the case with Final Fantasy XV. Regardless, Final Fantasy XV finally releases at the end of next month, September 30th for PS4 and Xbox One. We were once a nation of hope. The beacon of light. The world chaos. But now, we are broken, filled by the lies of our enemies. My son, my heir, you are the key to our redemption. the light. Only you can reclaim 
the throne. Snakes planted that way all along. I think everyone will be okay. Okay? Being blasted into oblivion? Who can say? We mustn't rush to conclusions. Better explanation for that. So that wraps up our countdown of 10 awesome games coming in September. What do you think? What games are you the most excited for? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.